welcome you uh, to the Skipper Chuck Show. Skipper Chuck were my first memories of 316 North Miami Avenue. And Who's that? Well, look who's here. Hello, hello, welcome to our show. There wasn't very much programming back then. And when I, when I was growing up, 1960, I guess, and Skipper Chuck was on every morning, right before he went to school. There he was, Skipper Chuck and Popeye Playhouse. And Scrubby the clown and all of our friends to be on television on our birthdays. Really? Yeah, and in fact, I got the handkerchief. How about five thousand? Hold this, please. The I got the handkerchief sandwich. down in my pocket. So, no, would you hold this, please? Chuck Zink and the Skipper Chuck Show is what I grew up watching. I was on Skipper Chuck as a Cub Scout. I won the balloon drop. I won all this, all the prizes. It was fun, entertaining. Every kid wanted to be on Skipper Chuck um, in South Florida growing up. Everybody wanted to be on Skipper Chuck. This was the 1950s and Miami, like so much of the South, was still segregated. Chuck Zink lost advertisers because he said he was going to have black children on his show. My name is Ed O'Dell. I don't know why. I still sometimes wonder why. Chuck Zink uh, took a liking to me. I actually majored in dramatics and speech. I had written children's uh, plays in college, and he gave me an opportunity to be on the show. I'll get the door. Tell me, bro. I'll just get the door here. There was an accident down the street. There, there was? Yes. Oh, what happened? Fourth Street ran into Second Avenue. <laughs> and television, when I was born, was a brand new thing. Everybody wanted to be on television. And Skipper Chuck was teaching. He was, you know, making people laugh. Chuck Zink was credited by the Cuban community as helping the Cuban community learn English. Mm. Every day, they had a word of the day. Hispanics would learn that word of the day and they got one more word in their vocabulary. Chuck Zink educated this community before there was a Sesame Street. I get this feedback from those kids who are now growing up. I can't tell you the times that they will say, you know, you told me never to quit. You told me to straighten up and fly right. And I tried and I did. Hi, I'm Shelly. Thank you for checking out our NBC6 South Florida YouTube channel. You want more videos like the kind you just watched? Click right here on the subscribe button below. Get the latest stories, interviews, caught on camera, and more. Digital exclusives as well. All for you. Subscribe now.